Hello everyone, here we are with another Harry Potter 2022 review, and this one is on Hogwarts Hospital Wing that is now being released, of course. So on the front of the box, we have, have the two usual logos, Wizarding World logo, and that interesting border that we have seen since, well, since last summer, of course, and picture of the set that in right there, and of course, all four minifigs included, and Recommended ages 8 and up, set number 76398, has 510 pieces. And on the back, which we do have this, uh, it, the other side of it, and also all the mini thing, or I mean, some different shots of it, of course. And also two collectible wizard cards, obviously. And yeah. Now onto the manual, which same picture is on the front of the box and everything. And on the back, I went on the online survey. All the pieces that come with the set. And then out of the other Hogwarts sections, build and swap, including this one, and also out of all of the uh, collectible wizard cards like that we've seen since last summer. And then out of this whole spring wave, of course, and the last steps. First off, so now for the minifigs. First off, we would have Madame Pomfrey, first time ever in a set. So, at least, and of course, the hair hat combo piece of which done greatly, of course. And of course, that's traditional dress piece in white and printing all around and face print all done greatly. And the, uh, and although oddly enough, this tile that has a sticker representing a clipboard, of course. Although, and it's held on by this little sideways thing. Although I think it without it would have been just fine. And, but yeah. yeah. And then aside from that, we would have our main trio. And of course, these torso prints, all their torso prints, except for Ron's, we have seen before. But Ron's is probably all new to this one. And of course, similar to ones that Furman sets before, but except has some dirt scuffs on him since of course in this film of course in this film prisoner of azkaban uh, which ride around on the whomping willow of course and of course get dirt marks on him of course and of course rana which does have one leg in uh white representing a leg cast and also interesting with hermione's accessories is that one of which is this all new uh, arm cast piece, which for a piece that's representing a cast on her arm, of course. But it's all new and interesting, which I'm sure we've probably seen with city sets, of course. And on the other hand, of which on a, a clear black stud and on a gold stud is one that has some nice printings onto it, which representing a time the time turner, of course, and also. So you get the your open wing owl piece, but in lightish, in blue, in sand blue, of course. But yeah, and then for the backs of each of them, still some more dirt stuff going on, of course. And of course, double side faces that we have often seen before, and whereas pond freeze, oh, which all new and interesting, and of course, double side face of her also done gratefully. So for as for this whole selection, of which it may be four for this size of set, but still good to have, but yeah. So now on to the two collectible wizard cards of which 
one of which we have is Albus Dumbledore, silver version. And also, get Garrick Ollivander. So, well, of course, this is by chance since this came with my copy, which yours could come in with different ones, obviously, but yeah. Or you can also get them all separate off Brickling, of course, but yeah. And now, for some other accessories, you get this, like, little hospital curtain that's comprised of two two by three plates on some sort of car hood or car the front part with a stop sign above uh, for it to stand on but yeah and also this newer treasure chest piece that has a flat top of which but this time in dark brown like in that other uh, dark arts set of course but Although, don't get anything to put into it, man. And also, you do get a box of jelly beans. Let's put some nice printing on that brick piece. And of course, Nexonite's Pyramid in red. Nice to have, but yeah. And also, the newer lantern piece with the Fez piece in gold. So, still nice and good to have. And also you get a usual chair with a circular plate underneath, of course. And also this little carrying rack with a couple of different potions and probably the potion number nine, of course. And also a traditional chocolate bar piece on there. And just made a few existing bricks, of course, but yeah. And also you get, for the first time, Skelligro with the... Uh, like baby head piece, but uh, with some skull printing on it. Quite nice and interesting. And of course, nice to have here, which kind of suiting to these uh, scenes in both this and Goblet of Fire. Or of course. Now, onto the set itself. So, from the first glance of which for this angle um, exterior part, at least, it's done pretty well. Oh, whoops, no mistake. Of course. And so, for this, oh, quite similar to most of last year's uh, Hogwarts sets, of course. Like, do you get oh, do you get the plain sand green for the roof bits? Which I have mistakenly placed opposite it, but whatever. Oh, hang on. Okay. Oh, whoops. But also, while at it, you can see attached by the shield pieces from the Star Wars sequel trilogy set, so of course, like we have seen before. And of course, this is like one of those, but to a smaller, cheaper extent. Or just another one. But, and of course, good use of snot with these all new smallish slope pieces. Like all small and they're kind of like the larger ones, but very small. But at least nice to have here. And as for this center bit clock piece, of which kind of like the 2019 clock tower set kind of had, but just a little bit smaller fitting it, of course. And also another circular tile piece, but that is printed rather than a sticker. Nice to see. And also, of course. From this top bit of it. Uh, oh, whoops. This kind of fell off, obviously. Sorry about that. But also, of course, same kind of effect as some of the other sets from last year. And also, do you get 
on, well, on both sides of this and also the lower part of it are gray uh, Technic hybrid bricks. So you can attach other Hogwarts sections onto a course, but on one side, which does have the gray, like gray uh, pins that do so. But also, the, the one of which is a feature where if you turn it, the gear feature in it kind of turns the hands of the clock. Very nice, of course. And on the back side of which, as you can see, like the clock section of which, which is just the big gears, of course, and also nothing much going on, of course. All you can, at least plenty of, still plenty of room to stick a fig in, but yeah. And in lower of which have complete symmetry, which, uh, of course, I and few do like, of course. Like the newer candle pieces on the sides, and also you get all these these three beds, of course. Just built all singly with all these little couple of tiles there, and of course a little odd jumper piece onto enough to sit a fig onto it. And also, each of which standing on those large plate on plate pieces, so good use of them. And of course, same exact nightstands with the gold lamps, of course, but one with flowers on, obviously. And so now, how it separates is, you can take these two roof bits off, of course, and also with those kind of large pieces there. Nice use of them. And also do you get this other section all separate as well. And also a whole lot of plates and very few studs to add things onto, of course. And just like with the polyjuice potion mistake set last year, is one long brick here. And unlike most of the others, it swivels outwards. It's also a bunch very interesting use of that. And of course, from this angle of which, although if you like bought many of this set, you can like have it make a whole tower section of it or something. Well, unless, unless it will always be angled inwards like that. And hey, same piece, piece as the Fluffy's Encounter set as well. Not sure if you can like, you can like add it on there if you want, or as as you saw earlier, just put place it forward a bit. So yeah. Although it does look kind of barren, also ought misplaced to have this clock section right there, but whatever. the final verdict. So overall, this I think is a quite good set for how it is. Like for the price point, I think it's done pretty goodly, even though kind of small for that, but on like, although kind of bit almost like a Fluffy's Encounter last year, but at least does have a little bit more added to it. And of course, mini figs of which, good to see some new variations of our main, of the main characters. And of course, good, great to have an all new character added to the catalog, good being Madame Pomfrey. Although it, I hope it does mean that we get the get creature and of course, a new version of Nifredor Tonks and the uh, core. And Xenophilius love good and others, but yeah. But that was for the signs of which kinda small for that, but whatever. And also and of course great to have Skella Grow included in a set as well. Oh but yeah. And so now if you're looking to get this set to add to your Hogwarts collection diorama, 
will definitely pick this up. And if you're looking, okay. And if you're looking, also looking to get this set for, for, for your newer Planet of Harry Potter collection. Also, to, or if you want to get some new variety, including Madame Pomfrey, also definitely pick it up. And that's about it with this video. Please like, com comment, share, and subscribe. Thanks for watching.